So guys, you can uh, literally walk for hours here in uh, the Medina. So what's happening everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode from Tunisia, this time we're gonna take a tour of the city of Kairouan, just made it here uh, 30 minutes ago with a luage from uh, Sous, which is my base, you know, that's where I visited uh, you know, LGM as well and I uh, you know, came here to Kairouan, it's a good spot, right in the middle, an hour each way, but either way, let's get this day underway, we have decent weather finally. But only until tonight when it's supposed to rain again. But let's find out what the city of Kairouan holds for us. So I'm just walking around, going towards the, the main mosque here in town and kind of want to show you guys how the architecture looks like. You know, you got the part, you know, modern that's uh, kind of made to uh, look camouflage really well with the old part. Uh, and all the way at the end of the street, we got the mosque. So just made it inside the Grand Mosque here in Kairouan and uh, just some information uh, that I think it's uh, quite quite interesting. Kairouan is considered the fourth most uh, important Muslim site in Islam after you know Mecca, Medina, Jerusalem and uh, they say that uh, you know if you take uh, seven trips to Kairouan equals one trip, one journey to Mecca. So you can kind of tell, uh, you know, the importance uh, of this site. So one thing that uh, I noticed here at this mosque that I have not seen at the... Uh, well, I can't remember seeing at any other mosque is the, like, the Roman columns. You know, the Corinthian style Roman columns. You know, some of them look like Dorian. But yeah, it's, it's quite interesting seeing, you know, the Greek decorated... So here's a little 360 of the whole courtyard. Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty nice. So guys, check out the adjacent streets here near the mosque. They're quite, quite well preserved. And they have this, uh, you know, faded hue of different colors, yellow, blues. I've seen some uh, purples, but yeah, they look pretty, pretty nice. So I was not expecting uh, Kairouan to be this, this gorgeous. Check out the, the alleyway. Super, super nice. Very, very similar in uh, many ways with the uh, city Bo Said. So I did go to a rooftop and I got a whole view of the mosque and the complex. But guess what? I forgot to do a little vlog, but I took a lot of photos. So uh, you guys can just head over to the Instagram page and uh, you can see pretty much all of them there.
I don't know the colors of the Medina here in Kairouan they're so so attractive and so uh, pleasant you know they're just eye appealing and they seem so peaceful you can walk the streets all day long here's another splendid view you know archways make you know great great uh, frames for photos you know the skies are not the greatest you know they're overcast right now but uh, overall you know you have a little bit of architecture to combine it and uh, you'll just get yourself a nice photo so after an hour and a half of just walking and taking uh, around two or three hundred photos I uh, just got out of the Medina and uh, this is how one of the squares here looks like you know the houses are very very similar you can tell their new construction you know or at least very well renovated but they yeah, are probably gonna go and grab something to eat or something to drink at least i did not have anything today except the uh, you know barely barely you know uh, two sips of water right before i left and caught the luage to kairuan so guys one thing that i do want to point out is the coffee shops here in uh, in tunisia everywhere in tunis in el gym here in kairuan Sus, they're all packed every single day so far in my uh, trip to tunisia i did not have one bad coffee you know uh, it's quite uh, you know like unique to go somewhere and uh, every single time you order something it comes you know to your taste you know uh, you know places like guatemala where they make one of the best coffees you know export wise as well uh, i had probably the most redundant the most plain and you know watered down coffee in my life you know but i also had some really really good coffees there but i just wanted to point this out that in tunisia so far you know four complete days four great coffees so continue my walk to the medina and you know again i'm uh, finding new places and sometimes dead ends like this one and you have to turn away and go back where you came from but this is the beauty of the medinas so guys you can uh, literally walk for hours here in uh, the medina in Kairouan most likely you're gonna get lost two or three times which is okay because you never know what type of photo opportunities you get or you know I mean even here look at that we found this monument no idea this is just outside the city walls i'm just trying to uh, go to places that have not uh, been before you know they say in the in the ticket that you buy at the kairuan grand mosque uh, there's five more other uh, mosques or monuments whatever places you can actually visit within that uh, ticket price but so far i have not been uh, fortunate enough to actually find those places you know you can ask people around but a lot of times i'm not even uh, pronouncing the names uh, correctly So although you can walk the streets of uh, Kairouan uh, for a full day and take a whole bunch of photos, especially when you don't know what to, uh, what to expect, that it's time to, uh, to make a stop and actually return to Suze, which I'm gonna do right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was uh, you know, a short little episode here from Kairouan, but I said that I might as well dedicate uh, you know, one episode per each uh, place I visit here in Tunis. Heading back to Tunis in a couple of days, uh, but until then, uh, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in again. If you haven't subscribed by now, might as well hit that uh, subscribe button and give it a like if you would like, I guess. And uh, I'll see you next time. Gratitude should be the only attitude and peace.